Hello and welcome to Gay Chill Crafts. Today we start a new series of videos focused on Vermont travel as well as the breweries that make up the Vermont Brewers Association. Sarah and I will be traveling to the breweries, sampling the beers, and whenever possible the food, as well as exploring the surrounding towns and villages. Our first stop is Brattleboro in the southeastern corner of Vermont. Brattleboro has about 12,000 residents and feels about the size of our state capital, Montpelier. The main village is New England Quaint and caters to tourists with many small boutique shops and larger chains situated just outside the downtown. It's about a two hour drive from Boston and approximately three and a half from New York City. We chose to visit Brattleboro in order to see the Keith Haring Subway Sketches exhibit at the Brattleboro Museum, with our brewery choice being Whetstone, which takes its name from a local tributary to the Connecticut River which flows past the city. The Keith Haring works that we saw were thought provoking. The exhibit, like the museum itself, is small but intimate. We had the room practically to ourselves, allowing time for contemplation. And the museum is free, with donations being suggested. After our visit to the museum, we walked along Main Street, window shopping and people watching, before making our way to Whetstone for lunch. Whetstone's tap room houses their original production facility where they started brewing about 10 years ago. In 2012, they renovated a rundown waterfront venue that had been a building in the Brattleboro train station complex. This building is now their tap room and restaurant, with decks overlooking the Connecticut River. Whetstone likes to say that they have an old world sensibility with a fresh New Englandy swagger. We ordered a flight of beers which we sampled while we waited for our food, and then we each chose something for a full pour. Sarah opted for the Big Stoner Hazy, and I for the Session Pale. All the beers that we tried were great, but for me the standout was Born to Run, a 3.5% ABV blood orange kettle sour, the sales of which helped support the Born to Run Foundation. Whetstone is also doing a collaboration with Vermont State Parks, with cans displaying iconic mid-century style posters for individual parks. The beautiful labels are also peelable collectible stickers. The first release was a Kolsch style for Jamaica State Park, and there are plans for more starting in the autumn of 2023. Unfortunately, the one and a half hour trip each way limited the amount of time we could spend exploring. However, we enjoyed our visit to Brattleboro as well as Whetstone and hope to visit again next time we're in the area. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the notification bell in order to be updated when new videos are posted. Thanks.